All right. Question um, one. so here we have um the, the this old RPG game writer. Uh, we'll call him Joe. That's fair. Yeah. I'll answer if you call me Joe. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll get right on to the questions. Okay. Didn't really know anything, so I didn't care and I didn't play. Alright. Um, so, so, yeah. Did you think it would be like a... No idea. Had no idea because nothing had been like that before. It was oh. brand new. And it was like the first time people talked about it, it just sounded, well, okay, that's interesting. All right. War, Wargaming may have made the tabletop huh, game possible, but Gygax made the tabletop RPG idea a reality. Am I right or wrong? Yeah. Gygax took what had been started by H.G. Wells, who's another really good author, and he did Wargaming to recreate Napoleonic battles or Roman battles and things like that. And Gygax turned it into personal fantasy where it wasn't the army, but the individual that became important. And that was the foundation of what became role-playing games. All right. So, so yeah. Of course, it wasn't only Gygax. He also had help buddies and all that. Dave Arneson and a bunch of other people, yeah. Yeah. So, next question. What are your summed-up thoughts of all of the additions that came before D&D 5e? Well, I've never been a big D&D &D guy, but 3 and 3.5 I had played quite a few times. I like that one. I think the new D20 goes smoother, but uh, one of my friends is completely devoted to AD&D, &D, and that's just the game, and everything else is just a poorer version of AD&D. &D. There's almost like AD&D, &D, but not quite as good. So I understand. It's AD, what game you like is like ice cream. You like what you like, and other people don't eat with your mouth. So let them like what they like, and you like what you like. Yeah. All right, so moving on to 5th edition now. What are your thoughts on the basic rules and core mechanics of 5e? Has it improved from earlier editions of D&D? In your opinion, of course. Yeah, in my opinion, I think it's smoother. It plays a, a much faster. There's still too much bookkeeping for me, but that's personal. Uh, but my experience with it was with you, and I thought it went really smoothly, and I got to do my character, my character did what I wanted to do. Which, for a player, that's what you want. You want your player to do what you wanted it to do. All right. Your character. So now, it wrong. Uh, so now that we can wrap up, wait, first, do you, have, uh, uh, do you have anything you want to say before we wrap up with this last question? Stay with gaming, because it allows you to step into other lives and try out ideas without doing it in the real world. In the real world, if you went up and killed someone's dragon, you'd have people after you for going after an endangered species and not having permission, and they killed my dragon and they sue you. But in gaming, you can kill the dragon and be a hero. You can save the princess. You can get the treasure. You can do all that stuff. And in the real world, you have trouble. But there's a lot more than just fantasy. You can do AD&D historically. You can play Vikings. You could play any number, Romans. You could do all kinds of things. And you can play in the future, which is where I love to think we are going to live, is in the future. All right. you're, in, you're reviewing me on a science fiction device from the past. One day they said, and everyone said, oh, that's ridiculous. Never. Never, never, never. Well, you've got a video camera. You've got an audio recorder. You've got a computer. You've got a research library. You've got a telephone. You've got a movie camera. All right. So, so we can wrap so we can wrap up now. Um, what are your thoughts on D&D 5e as a whole? I think it's a pretty good system. I think it works and it'll do well. And it can be adapted to a lot of other games. Uh, so. All right. Well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Uh, 